Hello, <clears throat> Liz here. Um, we are going to make uh, curtain pullbacks today. And the, what you'll need is an old CD and some strips of denim. And what I did was they're anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch in width. And then the length is just the length of the leg on uh, the pants that I cut up. So, uh, you can use smaller strips. We're going to be hot gluing them on. Or, uh, yeah, they don't have to be long because we'll be using several strips. However, I might be able to get, get it with one strip. But um, the first thing you, well, you'll need a hot glue gun. Of course, your glue sticks. And then you'll need some of these uh, Woodcraft dowels. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. These are, there's 12 in a pack and they're 6 inches long. So the first thing we need to do is mark our disc and cut it to look like this. Now we're going to make two of these since there's a curtain on either side of your window. So I'm using this, but all you need to do is um, you, you just need about three quarters of an inch to an inch left here. So just draw around it with whatever you have. You could use the bottom of a, a cup. You could use uh, the bottom of a vase or just what, whatever you have handy. Or you could just, you know, do it in your head and put it directly on there. I'm not good at that. So I have my little handy dandy circle. From Fiskers. So I'm just going to take my permanent marker, Sharpie. Oh, and I wanted to let you guys know that um, I will be doing my crafts from now on from Liz's craft page. So it will not be on my page. So you'll need to follow me on the Liz's craft page to get notifications of when I go live. So you want an old pair of scissors, not your good scissors, and then you want to cut a slit. And these crack pretty easy, so you need to be a little careful. So well, this one doesn't want to cut at all. Okay, so I have a little slit there, and then I'm just going to start going around. And you don't want to get to your circle right away because then it'll start splitting off here. So see how my circle is here is where I want to cut it, but I'm cutting up here. So we'll go around there. It'll chip. And uh, I mean, you can still use it if it's a little chipped, but uh, you don't want to get it broken. And it is a little hard to cut. And if you have a better way to cut it, um, please let me know. So now I'm cutting it on the line. And like I said, you just want to leave like three-fourths of an inch or an inch for the outside rim <clears throat> so we can wrap our blue jean material around it. So I have these uh, two of them on my curtain over at the house but in the kitchen, but I have two more windows in there, so I need to make a total of four. But today I'm only going to make two. So, here we have our inside pieces that we just cut off, and these here. And it doesn't matter if this is jagged, we're going to be covering it up anyway. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to take our strips. Hi, Kathy. So, um, I'm just going to start gluing it on, and you, where you start gluing it, that's going to be your back side. So, it doesn't matter which side you choose. So I just glued it on there and then you're just gonna wrap it. And you're gonna you're gonna uh, do it so that it angles a bit to the side. Now you only have to put glue on it when you start out and when uh, you finish the piece of uh, jean material. 
So anytime you add a new piece or you finish a piece, <coughs> you have to uh, glue it down. And it, it, see how this is more narrow than the other part? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what size it is at all. Just a fun, <coughs> creative way to use old CDs and to be practical. And you don't have to use jean material. That's just what I'm doing my kitchen kind of in. I'm going to be making placemats and uh, some other stuff out of the blue jeans. I just, I have a lot of blue jeans, so I was going to, uh, hi Cynthia, I was going to use it up. So here is where we started. This is where we're ending with this piece, so make sure you do it on the same side. So I'm just gluing that down a bit. And then I'm going to take another piece. And like I said, these were just uh, strips that I cut uh, of the leg of a pair of my husband's blue jeans. And no, they weren't his good jeans. No matter what he says, they weren't. I'm telling you. Don't believe him. So, <clears throat> again, we're just wrapping it. And there's where we added that piece. But this is going to be your backside. So it doesn't matter. So this one here, it only took two pieces. Actually, a little more than a piece and a half. So we're at the where we started. So you want to make sure you cover up the whole CD. This Again, this is the back side, so we're going to cut it right here. And then we're going to glue the end down. And that's all you do. This is the back side. And this is the front. And then we're going to get one of these little dowel rods. Like I said, these are six inches. And I'll take a picture of this when I have it on my curtains, just to show you. But you grab your curtain up, <clears throat> and then you put this behind it, and then it grabs your curtain here, and then goes, no, wait, 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 goes like this. So your curtain is in behind it. It's kind of like, you know, one of those that you put in your hair. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Tracy. So we're making... Um, curtain curtain pullbacks I'm sorry sometimes my mind doesn't function right um, so anyway we've made one we're gonna make another one so we had a CD and we just I use this here but you can use the bottom of a vase the bottom of a cup just whatever just leave about three quarters to an inch of the CD left and then when you start to cut it you want to cut like this and go around here and then go around here because if not you're gonna you're gonna tear it up and it doesn't matter if there's uh, uneven edges here we're gonna wrap those and then your strips anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch they're just the length of a pants leg but uh, whatever size you want because you can always add so on the um, my outside part that I want to, to be behind the curtain is where I'm going to start. So it doesn't matter what size, what side of the CD you do. And you only have to use the glue when you add a piece and when you end a piece. So you're going <coughs> to kind of um, make it go, well... Shoot, I had the word earlier, but anyway, you're just wrapping it around. So this is a pretty quick project. Uh, the hardest part is cutting the CD. And um, you got to kind of watch it, too, because it, it make sure you use your old scissors. And it is a little difficult to cut. So this is trying to wrap to that side, but I want to I want to end it on this side. So I'm going to cut this. 
and then I'm just going to glue it down. And then we'll start the other strip over top of that. And like I said, it doesn't matter if they're uneven. I mean, look at this one here. Nobody's going to see it anyway. So you want to start and end on the same side. So I'm just putting glue on where I ended that piece, and then I'm starting this piece. Just wrapping it around. And then I, I was thinking earlier, if you wanted to, you could probably embellish it with um, some beads. Um, I'm not going to do it to mine, but um, you could certainly do that. Okay, so we're at the end here, and I'm just going to cut this off and then glue that down. And I wanted to let you all know, too, from now on, I'm going to be doing my videos from the Liz's craft page. So if you have if you're not following that page or liking it to get notifications, please do that. I'm not going to do it on um, my personal page anymore. So this is what we have and uh, you just have the dowel rod. These are six inches. These are one of those uh, packages from the Dollar Tree. And then you just put this, on your curtain where you want it to catch it and then you take this and you put it behind your curtain and then back in front it's just like one of those uh, hair barrettes that you put in your hair when you're doing like a ponytail or or something like that but I'll take a picture of it uh, when I take this over to the house and put these on my curtains I have um, two of them made on one uh, window and these are for another window, and then I need to make two more. So uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with a new craft. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do, but I'll think of something, and I'll give you a hint or have a picture or something uh, later today. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.